Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. All right, we're gonna take a look at your week ahead. You have mirror, a girl with a snake, girl or guy with a snake, and you have the chaser. Okay, what? Marrying each other, self-image relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection, girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, or dance, being charmed or used, enabling boundaries, the chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment, okay, toxic BS, already starting with this week, okay, let's take a look, so you and another person mirroring, or someone's mirroring you, um, I hope I don't sound weird, my, I'm stuffy, so let's take a look, uh, let's see, there's a mirroring energy, you and another person, you could be, could be at a distance from each other, uh, what you're doing, they're doing the same, they're mirroring you, okay, um, so you might be like, why is this person doing this, or why are they acting like this way? Or what's going on? Why are they like behaving a particular way? Um, they're trying to copy you. I'm hearing, mirroring you. Trying to what the hell? Trying to copy you. What judgment? Oh my gosh! This feels like somebody is seriously like mimicking you. I feel like somebody's what? Somebody's mimicking you. Okay, they're doing what you're doing, but they're trying to act like they're not, but they are. <laughs> they're just kind of like putting their dukes up, like you can't find out about this, I'm hearing. And they're trying to protect that from coming out with judgment, because judgment is like, you know, everything out in the open. Here we go. Here's the truth. Let me confess all my, my sins, so to speak. Yeah, no, somebody here is watching you from afar and like... <sighs> If you're going to take your first step with your left foot, they're going to take their first step with their left foot. If you're going to take the first step with your right foot, they're going to do their right foot. You know, if you, if you, if you're going to wear a purple hat with orange feathers, they're going to wear a orange hat with purple feathers. Like they're going to try to maintain some kind of like, I feel individuality, but it's really not, you know, they're just, I mean, what do they always say? You know, um, it's like flattery, right? Someone who's mimicking you is flattery, but it's creepy. It feels kind of weird. This person, they look outward. They look, they, they look outward. They don't know how to really be original or creative or try to figure out, you know, like individual, like have their own individuality. Like maybe there's no identity, you know? They don't want to be seen, you know? <clears throat> That's what I feel like is going on here. They don't want they don't want anything to be revealed, so they're kind of pushing back on that, like they're blocking it. Like, don't look at me, don't look at me, just look at what I present. It's like a mirror image, and it's connected to you. So I don't know what you're doing, but this could be a friend, this could be a love relationship, someone you work with, or they, they could be in competition with you, Virgo, this week. Yeah, so they might even try to take credit for for <laughs> for things that you originate. All right. Um, okay, whatever. That's so strange. Four of Swords. Oh, yeah. Look at all that quiet, secret energy. Um, so for some of you, even if they're not, like, mimicking you in that way... Um, they are in some ways like oh my gosh i feel like this person's trying to like they watch and they're learning about you and almost okay they just told me like if you ha are like i'm seeing like a text bubble they're giving me like a text bubble so if you take a really long time to respond to a, to a text or a phone call or a message or an email um, the first time, then every time after that, they're going to start taking a really long time to respond back. <laughs> like they're, it's curated, <clears throat> like they're curating their own stuff 
based on what they see or presume that you're doing okay and so they're like kind of watching and they're like okay well virgo did this so i'm gonna do this back or you know uh or even if they're like own projections like in their own head about what they might assume or think is going on they're gonna just create this whole false story and then project that story outward on like back to you right it's weird um so it's just like it's a copycat it feels like a copycat kind of thing and they and i feel like they think about it you know like um okay well i'm gonna make it seem it's just so weird i'm gonna make it seem like i'm they're trying to cover up um yeah they're trying they don't like maybe a lack of identity they don't want to be they're try maybe they're, Virgo you might be like super cool they're trying to be super cool like what are we in fifth grade here that's so weird that's the weirdest message I've ever I mean hey my messages are weird but okay this one kind of takes the cake queen of swords two of wands higher font Virgo, I kind of see you like this week saying to this person because I feel like you're showing up here as this Queen of Swords. I kind of feel like you're like, yo, what the hell are you doing? Like, pick a lane. You know, why are you why are you in my lane? Why can't you just like be, you know, the hard fun? It just makes me feel like like why can't you just like do things by the rules? Like why like why you got to copy me? Why can't you just you know like why are you doing this? Why are you conforming? You know, I, I feel like you really. Are you going to say something, Virgo? You might. Because maybe you're just like, knock it off. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Why would it bother you? I don't know. Maybe if they try to take credit for something, you might actually be like, what the, f what the actual F are you doing? Why are you telling everybody that this was your project? Or why are you, um, why don't you just be who you are? Yeah. Hmm so what does that mean yeah there's a little bit of conflict but um you might just decide like you might be sitting on the fence right now like should i say something or should i not you know because i i feel like you know there's a fine line right so if someone's mimicking you okay yeah that's that's a bit of flattery right like if it's your, like if you're a mom and it's your daughter of course she's gonna try to copy your mom like i'm not talking about that i'm talking about like either a stranger or someone that you have some type of connection with where it's becoming like overkill you know like you show up and they have on the same outfit you do you know one day or you start seeing signs they're like they're in this they're going to the same coffee shop like what is that old movie with with the fonda girl single white female or something she, she remember do you guys remember that old movie where she like ran it she was sharing her apartment with with this not bridget fonda it was like the the uh, it was it bridget fonda i guess it was yeah and the girl was like copying everything that she wanted her life <laughs> this sounds like some kind of psychopath movie but that's what i feel like is going on here like this person is just it's too much now okay now it's not flattery now you're a creepy stalker and you need to freaking get you need to start self-reflecting you need to look in the mirror at yourself that's this might be the conversation you have this week with someone <sighs> like get your own identity it's weird you need to change and stop doing what you're doing here okay so yeah you have the wheel of fortune it's such Okay. Oh. All right. So, like, if you work with this person, um, they're gonna quit. They're, they're gonna quit. They're gonna quit. <laughs> they're gonna leave because they're just they don't want to. You're calling. You might be calling them out, Virgo, this week. Like this person, I'm serious. They are trying to hide this whatever's going on they do not want to be called out like they do not want to be found out okay so they're and they will definitely even if they for some of you yeah they'll quit for others they're going to stop like doing this 
they're like seriously going to change. I think you might need to call them out <laughs> to get them to stop. <laughs> Nine of swords in the reverse. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what? You might be doing them a favor because I feel like this person's just basically going to be like, oh, thank God. This is so stressful. Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> you know, throw them a bone, Virgo. Leave, relieve them of their stress. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is a love reading I'm, or what this the deal is here, but I just feel like with that mirror, you have somebody here is just weird. Just like, and I don't mean to say that in a negative way, that, that, because I, it feels to me like they are more along the lines of like real creepy. This isn't just, you know, hey, I really like those shoes. I want to get those shoes or I really like those nails. I want to get those nails. You know, that's normal. Um, but this is this is feels beyond okay it feels beyond so <laughs> all right one last one okay yeah this week you definitely have something happen in here there's like some kind of argument or like like dis discord i feel like and you it looks like you're just be like knock it the f off Knock it the F off. You're being like, this is so weird. Like, it's too much. How could we have, like, why did you buy a car that's just like mine? Like, that's weird. You bought the same fucking car? Excuse my language. Seriously? The same freaking car, I should say. Why are you wearing the same, like, you, you decorated your house just like mine. Like, what? What are you doing? Oh, now all of a sudden, you like licorice? Like... What are you doing? You're weird. Like, that's creepy. Stop. I kind of feel like you're... You need to leave me a comment. I, see, I swear, Virgo. If this happens to you this week, like, bookmark this video and come back and let me know. Because this is just too creepy. Let me get see if I can get some initials here. Okay, we have J. A. I. Y. Someone's 58. Some of you, September 11th is your birthday. Someone's 37. What the heck? Okay, someone's birthday's in July. We have the letter O. Maybe Joe. Jonah. We have R. We have J. Um, August 26th, 1983. Somebody's 31. Okay, that's so odd. That is just so I didn't want to go into Chinese signs or anything because I just I don't know you know Virgo if it's a love reading I mean if it's like someone that you have this love relationship with yeah I don't know I, I don't know how to like it's it's maybe it's a quirk or it's just something that's a little off but somebody is kind of just mimicking you or copying you and it just feels a little bit just creepy okay so you may you might actually be noticing this this week or you might actually say something to them and just be like you know what you need to stop i don't know what you're doing look you've got okay i'm gonna show you you've got like an open book okay and we were just talking about like how this person i don't feel like they're trying to be an open book but you're gonna open the damn book and just be like i see what you're doing I see you got the script and you're just you're just re you're just living by a script here you just like something's not authentic so I feel like you're gonna open up and just say something to this person yeah and it's it's not gonna be the best thing but in some regards it's gonna I feel like relieve now you have a girl with a snake okay so yeah this is what it feels like like You got somebody here who's just, just bound, like has no boundaries. They're just being, it's so weird. I, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. If you're listening to this, obviously I did. But as I'm doing this reading, I'm just like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> okay. So you got the Ten of Wands here. The girl with the snake with the Ten of Wands. The Hermit, Virgo, King of Swords. So, sword energy is showing up here again. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's some kind of narcissist thing going on here with someone. 
that you have some kind of dance with that either you were dancing with or you're just trying not to dance with anymore. Too much of a hassle and a burden. Yeah. Okay. You also have the King of Wands. You have the Queen of Wands. It's, like, it's a bunch of people. You got the Emperor. What the at? It's a fire sign, air sign. Oh my gosh. You got some people surrounding you. You got some narcs surrounding you this week. Boss and some co workers. Um, you got to be really care careful. These people just, they don't seem to have like. Hold on. I feel like you might be trying to like steer clear of these people this week. Could, you know, boss. Look, now you get the Queen of Pentacles. So, like, there's a bunch of people. You might be wondering, like, are all these people narcissists? Like, what's going on? Or am I being tricked into believing something here this week about a whole bunch of different people? Listen, it could happen. It could happen. I feel like, um, I feel like you're tired, though. This week, you're kind of like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like you try to get away from people this week because you feel like you're being used or people are just, um, taking advantage of you in some way or doing so what is with this weird energy what is going on this week is is the moon somewhere are, are, are the planets like all in reverse what is going on you got earth sign you got fire you have air you got like the definitely aries you got like a burden card where you're just like i want to be alone Everybody is like taking advantage. That's what I feel like is happening for you this week. You, or at least you're looking at that and like is wise. I don't know. Maybe you need to get some boundaries or put some boundaries up with people this week, Virgo. Because you look like you're just like really taking a look at that. Like you're exhausted. And it feels like, like everybody wants something from you. And it's restricting you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on this week. I just feel like you, you're you trying to like be in your happy place here. You just want to be in like this nine cups energy, you know? And like, I don't feel like you're feeling sorry for yourself or anything. I just kind of feel like it's like, will everybody just leave me alone? <laughs> Maybe you're trying to go on vacation. You just kind of feel stuck, trapped, right? You might be putting yourself in this position, though, too. You know, like, you can't blame everybody. Like, it, I mean, you, if, you, if you're not putting your boundaries up, you're enabling it. And maybe you're taking a look at that. Or just the people in your life. Or just the people past, present, and who's to come. Where it's like, you know, maybe I need to have more boundaries with people. Maybe I need to stop enabling. You know? Because people take advantage. I mean, like, it's just the way it is, you know? And everybody does it. Your dogs, will, your your animals will do it too, you know. Whatever people can get away with, they, they, you know. Hey, if it's free, give it. I'll take it. That's just kind of how it is, you know. So it looks like you, um, you might be taking a look at that with yourself, you know. Like maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe it's just you need to put up boundaries and just say no to some people this week. I mean, especially someone who's like copying you. <laughs> You know, because that's that's a little bit of like, I don't know. I don't know what to call that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know what that is. But I feel like it's one thing if someone does one thing, but I can't get over that. It's just like if they keep doing it and then they're just trying to be you, copying your identity. That would be someone with maybe like NPD or something, they, they, like a shapeshifter or someone that just, you know, can't come from their core so i kind of feel like it all sort of blends in a way because it's like you i feel like you need to just really put your foot down with some stuff and i don't know maybe you need to like put up some walls like not let so many people in people taking advantage trying to take advantage all right now i got the king of cups and now we have all the signs virgo we've got water earth air and fire so there's all the signs are here Virgo 
and this so that this tells me this is more about you like like you need to put up some boundaries here seriously you got to put up some walls put up some fences secure the border i don't know what you're doing but you're letting too many people in and they're take, trying everybody's going to try and take a free ride and you're dancing around and it's exhausting you look you see this See how she's got a fence around her? Yeah, but it's not fully around her. So people are still getting in and that it's causing harm. Yeah, that's what I feel like is happening here. Okay, definitely. So it feels like that's your advice here this week to put up some boundaries and walls. Okay, just say no. Okay, 19, uh, someone's 38, 1975, 22. So, oh, and 21, so September 21st, 22nd, the letter R, uh, 65, we have November, uh, November 17th, significant day for someone. All right, let me get a charm for here. What the hell is that? Oh, jeez. Gigantic elephant. Whoa. Big elephant head. You know, elephants are like really soft and they're sweet and they're caretaking, you know, all that energy. But man, if you piss off an elephant, they will pounce you. They will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They'll steamroll you. They can kill you. <laughs> don't let it, don't, don't let yourself go from like being overly sweet to then just getting really angry and cutting everybody off. Find that happy medium. Just be like, you know, I can have these people in my life, but this is as far as they can go. Like, it's not about other people. It's it's about you. You don't have to change other people. You just have to change you. You know, if you want... Like, if people are taking advantage of you, right? I mean, I just feel like... like if you want someone to stop doing that, you don't try to change them to make them stop um change you and be like your tolerance level needs to be readjusted <laughs> that's all i'm saying like if this is what they're gonna be well i can't do anything about them but i could do something about me you know what i will and won't accept that's all all right so you have the chaser chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issue okay so somebody's chasing after you this week let's see who's chasing after you this week oh Page of Pentacles, ooh, Ten of Cups, ooh, Page of Cups, you're going to get some communication from someone who just, or maybe two other people, um, could be running a race with some kids, I just heard that too, this week, maybe there's like a marathon or some kind of race or something, um, yeah, you're going to get a couple offers, you know, but listen, couple people chasing after you i don't know like who specifically it could be a water sign earth sign but i do kind of feel like this week um there's gonna be some communication there might be an apology um someone might make try to make plans i see a lot of communication going back and forth the page always represents like the written page for me like so there could be um uh, texting and that's pretty much everybody does anyway so it's probably what it is um chasing after you Okay, why? Because it's Ten of Cups. Like, hold on. Um, all right, these are two people. That's what they're just saying. Two people who are like fearful that you're not going to talk to them anymore. Okay, I don't know who that is. It could be of your family member. It could be siblings. It's a couple of people coming back from the past, or at least one. Okay trying to yeah initiate communication with you this week and they're chasing after you now i i could ask like specifically who it could be but pretty much all the, all the court cards are over here so i don't know we'll see if it show, anything else shows up but yeah uh clarity truth a couple of people coming in here want to talk to you um maybe even you know proposal of some sort or some kind of love offer coming in let me see so, you know, if you've had like a dry spell, <laughs> if your phone's been like cracked and dry like the desert, it looks like this week it's going to be communication stuff coming through this week. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, maybe it's somebody that you, or two people that you left out in the cold that you weren't talking to. You didn't want to bother with them. Yeah, like no potential. Well, they're going to be showing back up again this week, chasing after you this week. Okay, let me see. Hmm, page of wands in the reverse. What? Crazy for you. Crazy, crazy. The messages are going to be insane. Because I don't, why? Are you not going to respond? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what this feels like. It kind of feels like there's one or two people who are just like trying to talk to you and you might not even be like, uh, let me see, are you going to, oh, leave it out in the cold because you're not, maybe you're out of town or you're not away. Oh, you're away. Oh my gosh, the Knight of Cups and Lovers. Oh yeah, there you go. You got like some kind of going within, maybe even blocking or not communicating. So it looks like, um, oh, with the chaser and the codependent relationship this is always like i can't breathe without you <laughs> answer the phone answer the text you know it's like craziness and even like i love you like where are you oh my god like that's the codependent thing okay that's that like like you're 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 they're jonesing <laughs> They're jonesing to talk to you. So it's either one or it's two. Okay, you do have Gemini there too. It's either one or it's two. And like, I want to marry you. I would love you. I want to talk to you. Like, it's craziness. This week, what the F? What is going on this week? Can somebody please tell me, is there any... Let me flip my calendar because I'm still in January. Jeez. Is there any moon stuff going on? Hold on. I gotta see. You know I should look before I do it, but... I'm, I, if I sound like kind of mellow, because I took some um, uh, allergy meds and it's got me like, hey, <laughs> want to party? So, oh, the Chinese New Year starts on February 10th, by the way. Okay. Oh, so we have a new moon on February 9th. Mmm. So we're coming off of that uh, quarter moon going into a new moon. So, yeah, this is like the result of like whatever energy is left over. I feel like it's shifting out. And so people are just getting crazy. Now, I don't know where the moon is like placement right now. I haven't even looked. But you might be trying to decide or make a decision between two people and just kind of you're like all right well you know they chasing after me they're coming after me. Well, you know may the best person win i feel like because you're not doing nothing look at you you're not doing anything you're just like blocking you're not talking to anybody you're keeping to yourself that's what i feel like you're doing this week and you have one or two people who are like why aren't you chasing me you know, and then the dance kind of shifts a little bit there, shifting a little bit. Uh, let me, I do want to get messages a little here. Is that, that feels more like a love romantic thing going on there. All right, messages of love here. Oh, unavailable. <laughs> Maybe you're not interested because one or two people are just unavailable for a relationship to meet your needs, right? So then they start chasing, okay? Or you're just like, like I said, maybe you're out of town and you're just not available to respond. Or you maybe you're making yourself unavailable or you're just busy. Like, it, it can happen. I don't know what's going on for sure, but there's your intuition. And some of you are just like, you know what? Why am I messing around with this? Every time I go to the grocery store, I'm trying to get avocados. This store does not sell avocados, but I keep coming back here hoping that they're going to get avocados and they never have avocados. Why don't I just stop spinning my wheels and go over to that store over there because they have avocados and that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> There's a, it's, this, this is an avocado dilemma here you know, love, like maybe you were chasing, maybe you were codependent or you were chasing, trying to get, 
get a need met that just the person wasn't available to meet that need you know so yeah you got your feelings involved there's you know but now there there's chasing in return coming back to you right a little bit of a toxic like i said in the beginning some toxic energy kind of spilling out this week but i feel like you got your feelings you know you're and listen like if you got to make a decision and to stop expecting something from someone that they're not capable of giving you i mean that really is going to lift the burden heavily you know what i mean it's really going to lift it heavily like because i feel like the expectations are the things that get us in trouble you know you can expect things from yourself you know hey every day i'm going to get up in the morning and make sure i make my bed every day and i and i'm committing to that so i expect that i'm going to do that right like you can have expectations for yourself but you put them on other people um you just be more and more disappointed like i mean it feels like maybe you're already come to this or you're just already like you know what i know this isn't really for me maybe this person's in my life for a different reason or i'm gonna have to put them in a different slot <laughs> not the coin slot y'all but i'm gonna have to put them in a different slot because and and i know i don't mean to look at people's like objects and say that but like it's just being objective you know um for you and you might already be doing that you might just be like you know what that's all right yeah they're not available for this relationship and it's cool i'll i'll let my feelings just you know dissolve the way they need to and uh, um, your intuition is probably telling you that and it's just a matter of like really accepting it but for others um you've already come to that place and you're just like yeah doesn't mean i don't love the person just yeah they're not available and then now uh, they're chasing one or two Okay, maybe they're in another relationship or whatever, whatever the reason. Okay, there's chemistry, definitely. They, you and this person have the chemistry, you feel that together, but chemistry is not the entire picture. It's not the whole story, you know? Like I say all the time, you know, you could have chemistry with like, I don't know, the cashier when you're, you know, paying for your stuff, but it doesn't mean you gotta, you should, it could be like it doesn't mean you need to be in a relationship with them you know what i'm saying they could be married <laughs> you know or, or maybe they're like 92 and you're i don't know 40 like i mean hey you do you but just because you have chemistry with someone there's got to be more there's got to be compatibility all that other stuff right i always say that what do i know i sound like a dating coach i have no idea just do you do what works for you do what's best for yourself all right, so you got the letter, oh, two A's. Maybe somebody's an alcoholic and they're in recovery. Maybe they relapse. Um, September 11th, someone's 52. Letter K, someone's 43. <clears throat> All right, we have an X, number one. Did I say letter E? Can't remember if I did. K, we have 1968. 1990 or someone's 90 <laughs> okay let me take a look and see what sign is this that we're talking about here tell virgo what sign are, are you talking about here gemini taurus capricorn leo aquarius pisces gemini gemini taurus okay um so yeah there you go virgo um i skipped the chinese signs but that's okay. I'll get you tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week. You know, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you to everyone who has recently become a member of my channel. If you have, um, if you have, where is my, hold on a second. I just want to give you a shout out. If you have joined uh, my channel, um, that means not subscribing that I'm talking about becoming a member of my channel then um, You will get shout outs from me For all the new members, right? And you also get cool badges if you've rejoined you'll go back to your original status of how long you've been a member Lauren Hold on. I'm trying to see her name here Because it's so tiny Lauren Harmon Pendleton welcome and we have Holly Rowan, Katie Kaufman, Nino Chica Ballister. Nino Ballis Ballister? Is that what that says? 
Ballesteros. Please forgive me if I can't pronounce the name. Ken uh, N G U Y E N Nguyen Nguyen James Guile Tammy Lake Tawny Lake Chandler Cook Cricket Rocky Mills. Debbie Rodriguez. Oh, I think I said to you the other day, we have Carmen Karen, Nicole Duke, Darlene, Brenda Gaddy, Sandra J. Martine Martinez, KMT, Carrie Conkle, Charities Low Carb Life, Vessi New, Bianca Granados, L33 Sage, Suzanne Rooney, Jules Ryland, Nature's Friend, Will Fuller, Biliana, Sean Varner, and Lady Wolf. Yep, so far... Thank you guys for becoming new members. I am super, super grateful for that. And uh, yeah, definitely show up in the chat with your new badge, proudly displaying your new badge. And if you want to get a personal reading, definitely click the link in the description box below. And you can also, um, the membership to join here is only $2.99 a month. So, I mean, I really don't make hardly any money on that, but a little bit always helpful so it's better for you guys because it's inexpensive and it, it's a good way to show support for the channel um, and also you guys can get text messages with me if you want to do a text reading definitely check that out oh I'm gonna go I will see you all oh this medicine's making me sleepy I'm gonna take a nap I'll see you guys back here tomorrow love ya bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.